begin setting up AutoCAD LT for the first time, we will left click on the Tools menu item. Scrolling down, we left click on Options. When AutoCAD LT is first installed, the background color is an almost white. First thing I do is change that to black. Finding where to do this can be sometimes difficult for the new user. We'll take a quick look at the contents of the various tabs to show you where things are that you can change. We'll change a couple of things along the way. I have very good file save habits and to reinforce that habit I unclick automatic save. I do not recommend that you do that. From this you can see that crosshair size refers to the leg length and not the box size. We'll change that. Click apply and OK. There are two variables that are more easily changed from the command line. Edge mode, which comes with a default zero, which means turned off. And we want to change that to one. So we will enter the number one and hit the return key. The next is mirror text. It comes with a default of one turned on and we want to turn that off. So we will enter the number zero and the return key. Also from the command line we access the object snap tab of the drafting settings dialog box. I have found it best to use the following settings. Left click OK. Let's take a look at the very bottom of the AutoCAD LT program display. Snap mode Grid display, leave this off. Ortho mode lets you draw 0, 90, 180, 270. Polar tracking, we'll leave that off for now. Auto snap, turn that off and on, and on there. Object snap tracking, turn it off. Dynamic input, very important that you leave it on. Line weight, I usually leave this on. Transparency, quick properties. Selection cycling, leave off for now. Over here we have paper space settings, annotation scale settings, workspace settings, and switching. You can also access workspace switching from here and you can also save a current. Status. This is the standard workspace. It's called Ribbon View. It's handy for some operations. For most, I prefer Classic View. When you first install AutoCAD LT, it is open in Ribbon View, and this floating toolbar of all installed tool palettes is visible. It has some handy drawing aids and also some simple dynamic blocks for various items, hatches, dimensioning styles.
There are many toolbars turned on in Classic View. Many of them, in my opinion, are not needed. A custom toolbar with less than 40 items on it will meet most of our needs. In the next video, I will show you how to easily construct a custom toolbar and then turn off the other toolbars. See you there.